Okay, so today um, we're gonna be making a tutorial on this thingy bobber advanced computer. This is the video for the original. Shout out to Josh e VR. I'm gonna do my way. So first, you want to download Cat's advanced stuff or Joshi's advanced computer package, and then you want to come to Unity, click, um, go to your assets, and make sure you have the Gorilla stuff. It's in my fan game. Um, and this is my computer. I'm just gonna do it separately though, right here. Click, um, I think it's uh, right click, import package, custom package. I'll find the Cat's advanced stuff and boom and I already imported it but click all and then import or you can take off the computer or you could do that with Joshi's and then come back to your browser and um, if you want to join my discord I will put the link in the description but and then Joshi's advanced compete I mean then cats advanced computer do the same thing um, wait oops import package custom package cats advanced computer and it's imported so when you have that and the cats advanced computer so cats cats advanced computer drag that and we just say that you don't have any textures um but it should show name update fps and online players and then the message of the day so you can remove the message of the day by clicking on your thing and um, get rid of it. But the reason you need Joshi's advanced computer as well is because when you click color, it'll switch. But I believe that I have the um, color, but um, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's this is color enable but when you download um, this cats advance or I think cats advance computer we have the color one color keyboard so let me look for that if it's in here keyboards so we have the color and it should show up. Um, let me just enable the color keyboard real quick. Um, and see much of a difference right now. Then you, if you enable color, then it's here. I don't even need the color keyboard. And let me just get rid of the, um, well, you won't be able, you won't see it, but the name keyboard, let me disable it. Now you have the color keyboard. And you can put your colors here. And yeah, you put your colors and it should be all working. But what you do need to do is change your color. So um, yeah, you will already have the FPS and the online player. So that's all you have to do basically. And make sure you play fab or else it won't work. Put your stuff and that's basically it. But if you wanna get the colors working, you gotta go here, search up Oton VR, find it, player. Now when you get into here, choose your Photon um, VR player script. Go um, edit script, you might need Visual Studio Code for this. And when online 51, I believe, you know, where is it? I'm very sorry, but um, I think you have to look for skin mesh render. So, so on line 85, it will say mesh render. On your model, put skinned, and um, it's for all of them. So look for all of them that have skinned mesh render. So, yeah. You can watch um, this guy. So you can watch 
this guy named Be Awesome. He makes really good tutorials, and he has the um, where is it? Color changing. Where is it? Right here. Color changing. So watch that. Um, it teaches you how to do it, and after that, you should be all good. And um, to show you that it actually works, let me go into my game. Load in, start with that. So when you get into load, you can already see the FPS works and the online players. And yeah, and you can add um, more stuff, but if you move go real little forward to the side, and here's the hands. Move up. You can go to that. Um, and for the things like color and name, move it forward and back, down. It will reset your player material, and I kind of, I still need a texture of that, I think. But when you move, boom, yeah. And normally there's uh, another script on here. It's called, let me see if I can do it, monkey button. You see this thing? This thing, sometimes it's not good. It is not good. So I would just remove it or else it would glitch out the entire game. But yeah, that's, pr that's pretty much it. Um, and if you want to do your thing like me, the color, um, let me disable the name keyboard real quick. For the color, I'm not sure, so let me check. If you click the buttons, it should tell you. But right now it's not, it's being stupid right now. So keyboard layout, so blue is the end. So if you wanna really know that. Yeah, so blue is end. And I believe that green is middle and then red is top. Yes. So blue is the bottom. And then you got green next. The middle. And then you got red. And then yeah. So I would um, go to the keyboards um, and do this. And yeah, that's basically it. If you want to change the thing like this, you can add um, this. And if you want to get the super realistic glow, see it's kind of glowy, looks really nice. Um, like this, it is, um, I can make another tutorial. And it'll come with this texture so you can, yeah, it's pretty nice. But that's it for this tutorial. Thank you and like and subscribe.